a setback to the first installment of Yaoi Khan East, as well as a revival to Will and Grace. This and more in a second here at Queer Fidanchi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Devin Jackson Randall, or DJR, and welcome to Queer Fidachi. Today is Friday, and that means it's time for the weekly update, where I share LGBT-themed news with you guys, so let's get talking. First, Bishonen Con is having a massive sale, or a pretty big sale. If you guys don't know, Bishonen Con is the first installment of Yaoi Con East. If you guys don't know what that is, Yaoi Khan is a convention that happens every year for Yaoi fans, Fujoshi and Fudanshi alike. It happens in North America in the west side, usually like California area. In addition to that, Bishonen Khan was supposed to be the first installment of that in the east. They were planning to have it in Rhode Island this coming year in March 2017. The thing is that sadly, they have lowered the pricing. It went from $65 to now $35. I say sadly because this is not a quick sale. This is something that's going to continue until March 2017. And that tells me that this is actually a problem. That they couldn't find enough people to buy tickets, so they lowered the price to 30 by $30 so that then they would hopefully get more people to buy tickets and get more people to go to the convention. I don't know, I just think it's sad. I mean, I was planning on going to the convention and maybe having a panel, so hearing this, seeing this sign and thinking, oh, maybe there's not a lot of people going, makes me think, maybe I shouldn't buy a ticket. So this might have actually done the opposite of what they had wanted. But who knows, hopefully the convention will go well. I guess we have to wait and see. Second, Will and Grace is currently in talks to get a revival. If you guys don't know, Will and Grace was a TV show from America that started in the late 90s and ended around 2006. It had eight seasons and it was one of the first TV shows to really focus on gay people. And it was certainly the most mainstream of them at the time. Will and Grace was a comedy show about Will and Grace specifically and their two friends. Just two gay guys and two women who were bonding as basically a found family. Over a month ago, the four actors got together to do a special online video to kind of discuss voting in America. If you guys don't know, the election is happening next week here in America. Please pray for us all. And the video ended up getting a lot of attention, about 6 million views and counting on that video. So people are noticing, hey, there's still love for this show. But you know, that's kind of obvious since the TV show is still in syndication today. Remember, I said it ended around 2006, that was 10 years ago, and yet TU can still find the show running on TV stations across this globe. That's why you can't really find it online on sites like Netflix. So I'm super excited for this TV show. It's still in talks. We don't know what the story will be. We only know it'll be a few episodes, a limited short series on TV land, but I am excited that we're getting something anyway. Lastly, I have yet another new Kickstarter for you guys to go check out if you want to. It's already been fully funded, like most of the other ones. It is called Monster Prom. Essentially, the game is a dating sim, but with a twist where you can play it with friends. The game is about kind of like a Monster High, if you know that IP. It's about a bunch of teenagers and monster get up, a Frankenstein, a mermaid, all that, blah, 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 whatever. And they're getting ready for prom. And in that game, you can pick as a character and try to get in a relationship with any of the characters. Gender does not matter. And then hopefully by the end of the game, they will let you invite them to the prom. The twist is though, that you can actually play this game with your friends and you can make it a sort of competition. So you could either all date someone else or you can all try to pursue one person and kind of make it a competition between each other. Ultimately, this game sounds interesting to me. Like I said, it's already been fully funded on Kickstarter with multiple days left, like 20 or something. So if you guys are interested, you can go back it. I believe it's only about 10 pounds in order to buy the game and have it for your own. I certainly am interested in playing the game and I might even get my friends to play it. And eventually I will, of course, play it on YouTube's gaming channel. So, what about you? And that is it for this weekly update, guys. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about these three stories, as well as to like this video if you liked it, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Bruce Fernandes strives to share LGBTQ and BL media through news, reviews, and good conversation. So let's get talking. Bye.